hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel to my existing and to my new subscribers welcome back to bags and designs by Cambros. guys today's um, tutorial i'll be making this lovely clutch purse here so please guys make sure you watch from beginning to the end for better understanding and you can also watch some of my videos to have more ideas about um metal clutch purse so guys i'm like i'm almost true with the bag but i just thought of oh man i have to show this to my lovely subscribers to my lovely followers and that is why i am actually doing this video right now so i'm just going to explain some things to you before i go further um i'll be making use of this pattern to explain how i got how i derived to this actual point so this is the pattern for my bag so the length of it is um 11 inches then i'm just going to measure the width from the bottom aspect so it's going to be 9.2 inches so it is actually not a straight um cutting from the bottom to the tip to the top it is not a straight um, um cutting it is um more like a slant so you can reduce it by 0.4 0.5 whichever way you have to look at um, the measurement of your the width of your metal frame before you take the measurement so this is the letter board and this is the form i make use of for this job so i make use of um you can use any letter board to make use of this and you know i also make use of a letter board named chi board to pad it up i want it to be very hard i want it to be rigid i want it to be i want it to look solid so i'm just going to take a measurement of my um chipboard and you know just pad it up so this is the interior aspect so i make use of a chipboard for the interior um aspect so the length of my interior the length measurement is um 11 inches and also the width you guys will see the width there written there for you guys to you know look at and also work with it so guys if you're making your own metal frame not necessarily you have to go with this my measurement you have to look at the measurement of your metal frame for the width then the length can be any um any measurement so this is just um this is just to give you an idea of how you can do yours so at the gusset aspect before you start gluing your gusset to the um, interior of your bag you have to take a measurement of a 0.5 at the tip of the in of the um inner layer so you have to take a 0.5 left 0.5 right so then the other the rest will be the measurements for the main corset so guys i've done a you know i've done a tutorial on how you can get your corset please kindly go and watch go through all my videos you'll see a tutorial of this um of this corset you know over there i actually i took it step by step tutorial for you guys to understand how you can get your um your clutch purse corset so please go and watch go back and watch for a better understanding so guys this is actually how i got my corset and for the bottom aspect is one inch this is it this is it i'm already taking the measurements for you guys to see and watch please go and watch the full tutorial of how you can get your corset so I, I i actually pad this um purse up twice i i did a full pack uh a, a full padding of um little board named chipboard and i also did a i also, I also pad it up um, left and right but i didn't pad the bottom aspect so now i've had glue to the main body of the bag and to the interior of my bag so i just wait for it to dry a little bit and glue them together if you have any questions you can always drop your questions under the comment section 
and if you um if you enjoyed this tutorial you can give us a beautiful like and a nice comment it's the same thing to the other part of the bag i'm just going to add glue wait for it to dry and just glue, glue everything together so now guys i'm almost through with the bag the next thing is just to use my hammer to hit it well and use my clip to hold it firm. And after this, I'm just going to use um, a glue to glue them together. I'm not going to be using my machine. I actually tried using my machine and you know the material is um, because of the sequence and because of how thick, how hard the material is, my needle was just breaking. So I'm just going to stick to using glue alone for this um, particular job so after i glue everything finished then i'm just going to work on my frame so guys i'm only using um a machine for um the tip alone and not for the corset if you want to you can stitch your corset using um a cylinder bed machine which i'm not going to be using for this project because of the material i am actually working on so i'm going to be using b6000 for the metal glue so i'm just going to apply b6000 to my metal frame left and right i'm just going to wait for it to dry a little bit you have to wait for it to dry of course you don't want your job to look messy like you want it to look nice and lovely so just wait for it to dry a little bit and then you glue it together to the main body of the bag and note guys after you glue your metal frame to the main body of the bag you have to use your armor to eat it a little bit not too hard just a little bit so your metal frame can stay well and um, look pretty so guys please if you know you enjoy this tutorial if you know you really 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 do learn something from this tutorial please give us a beautiful like and a nice comment guys this tutorial has come to an end i hope you enjoyed and you learned one or two things from this please kindly subscribe and click on the notification button for more updates and watch out for my new video i love you all and god bless you